Hello everyone, my name is Cap and welcome back to Cap Tech. I'm doing something a little bit different with this week's video. Instead of doing a review or a tutorial over some software, I thought I would talk to you guys about holiday shopping because it's right around the corner. And this week is Thanksgiving week, which means Friday's Black Friday, traditionally the day when millions of people get up way too early or even camp out the night before, trample over each other and try and save a little bit of money on a knockoff brand TV. And then Monday, the 28th, is Cyber Monday. This is one of my favorite days of the year as a tech person because you can find all kinds of amazing deals online and in some retail shops too over electronics and cyber-related gear. But something you may not know is that a lot of Black Friday deals are already going on online on sites like Amazon, uh, Newegg, Best Buy. Some of the big retailer stores that have a lot of deals in the stores also have their deals already online. And if you look at the right time, a lot of times shipping is free. I for one have done a lot of holiday shopping over the last few years. Uh, online. I've done almost primarily all of my Christmas shopping over the last few years online. Almost always get free delivery. It's boxed up and sent to me and if you pay a little bit of extra in some places you can even have it wrapped for you if you're just really not into that sort of thing. But also I wanted to make sure that everybody remembers to shop safely when you're searching online. You know make sure you don't go to any questionable websites. Um, if you're able to, I would highly recommend doing some shopping in incognito mode. And if you're not quite sure how to do that, up here in the corner, there's going to be that little eye that pops up for a little information box and you know, the cards. I'll put a link to a video I did not that long ago showing you how to actually activate and use incognito mode in the various different browsers. Highly recommend that because that way the sites can't track you. You can surf everywhere you want to and you're not going to get ads popping up on Facebook or trying to get some weird price matching going on between different sites. So just do keep in mind that there are a lot of good deals that you can get on sites and stuff right now. Like I said, Amazon, Newegg, uh, Fry's, Best Buy, and I'll put links to all these places in the video description to make it easier for you to get to them below. But a lot of them are having a lot of good deals right now that you can get. You can get the Black Friday deals right now. And also, here's something I do want you to keep in mind, because I did work in retail, and I worked at Best Buy for a few years over the holiday seasons. And something you have to know is, a lot of times, not always, now don't get me wrong here on this one, but not always, but a lot of times, a lot of the products that they can get 50% off if you show up at 3 o'clock in the morning, they only have a very small number of those. A lot of the times when you see those, oh, the Black Friday deal, save 75% off on a 32-inch LED TV, they might have three in the entire store. So if you wait in line for six hours, camped out in the cold to get one, you're probably not going to get one. And also, a lot of times these stores will have these Black Friday deals where they have these really good-sounding deals, and they're really low-quality TVs. Like, if you go into the store and you find a Samsung or an LG or something like that that's going to have a really big sale, great. Those are high-quality products. They usually have a good warranty. They last for a long time. But if you go in there and you see a brand that just doesn't seem right, it just doesn't sound familiar, you know, do a little research on it. Because a lot of their sites have the, the sales that they're going to have on their website already. You can go look and see what quality TV is. Or if you're buying a new microwave or a new dishwasher, you can go to and read some of the reviews and see if they're actually worth that extra 50% off. Because if you're saving, you know, a couple hundred dollars on something that's absolute garbage, it's worth a little bit more. So anyway, hopefully this video was useful to you guys in, you know, letting you know about the concept of being able to get some of these Black Friday deals at home and not have to go deal with all the traffic. Me personally, I'd rather pay double the price of shopping and stay home. Sit here in my socks and shorts and safely search the websites without having to deal with all the traffic and parking and oh dear god, all the lines everywhere. I live in a huge metroplex. There's way too many people here. I don't go out on Friday at all. If you have any questions or if you know of any other websites that you recommend that you could do some good uh, shopping on, you know, drop them in the uh, comment section below there. For everybody else, stay safe out there if you go out in public. Stay safe if you're searching online for deals. And have a happy holidays. And I will talk to you later.